Hello and welcome to Brushstrokes by Kim. I'm Kimberly Ferguson and today I'm demonstrating how I make monoprints. Um, I'm using different tools uh, and I will explain this. Monoprints are a type of printmaking where each print is unique. You can't make copies, uh, whereas if we were to do etching or using a stamp or the lithograph, uh, you'd be able to make multiple copies of the same etching. So with mono prints, you don't use a plate, like a metal plate, or anything that is carved into. You're using a flat surface and then you're making designs into the ink directly onto that flat surface and then you put your paper onto it and it makes a unique print. So that's what I'm doing here today. So I'm gonna show you the ones that I've made so far. That's one. This is the second one I made. The third one I made, and there was looking good. And this one is the best one I've made so far. Isn't that nice? Okay. So I'm gonna put some new paints on to this thing here. This is the brayer. This is, I forgot. And we have our inks. And the stencils. This is another one I used. And for the paper, I'm using Subi block printing paper. Fork. Gloves. Make some uh, other scratch marks. See, matching this side to the red side. Blending. Okay. Let's do one more on this one. There. And I'm going to use this throwaway paper. Take my thingy, I forgot what it's called. I'm just going over where the stencil is because we're trying to push in the stencil into the ink. We're not making like a print. This is where you go across the whole page. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Oh, how lovely. Look at how lovely that is. Oops, I'm too close. <laughs> lovely. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to go right on top of 
the ink. I'm not even going to clean it off because you don't really have to. Actually, should I should I do the black or should I do a yellow one? I'm going to do a yellow actually because black. Once you put the black down, you kind of have to clean up and so I mean this is it might blend. It will blend actually. I don't even know why I'm saying that. It will blend and I'm okay with that. Okay. So I realized I was not filming and I made this amazing print. I was so excited. <laughs> I realized I wasn't even filming. Okay, so look how amazing this one came out. How amazing is this? I, I uh, pressed it down with my hand and this is the, I guess you can call it the plate. How amazing is that? I mean, this is so beautiful. I would keep this, but like, I can't. <laughs> um, but this is a pretty, like, this is amazing. And this all came from, th this really interesting design came from me scraping at the back of a plastic fork. So I'm gonna do another one of those. Very cool. Very, very cool. Hope it'll be okay. Okay, I'm gonna do another thing and hopefully it'll come out as cool as the last one did. Use my hand. Oops. Interesting. Hmm. Black. And I'm gonna leave the other I'm gonna leave the other paint on because I I like these like colorful surprises in there. So I'm gonna take out a little bit of black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yes, and go right on top. Okay, let's get some more black. All right, 
Hmm. Looks like music notes. I don't know if that red will show up, but we'll see how it goes. Some of the red did come through. I'm curious if I just do it just like that. probably use your fingers too if you don't mind. I'm going to try it with my fingers. Hmm. Hmm. Get that. I actually quite like that one. I like that. I really like like the finger. It gives you like layers and you have the old print from behind. I like that. Very nice. I'm gonna do more with the finger. Give us some layers. Thin lines. I'm gonna do a thumb. Let's do big finger. Nice. Do another big finger. Little finger. Do a circle. Actually, let's do that. Let's fill in that circle. Nice. Let's get some lines in here next to them. I don't care that they're not straight. Let's 
So. Not pressing too hard. I just wanna. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? I love it. I love these. Okay, so I think I'm gonna make maybe one more. Should I do the back? Yeah, I guess I'll do the back of the fork again. Gonna do some squiggly and another going across, and then I'm gonna go with them. Okay, yeah, I think that's cool. Nice, am I? Yeah, you can see. Well, sure. We're in focus, I hope. All right. Oh, I love. I love it. Yeah. That's, I think these are so amazing. Okay. So that's that. Once you're done washing everything, you can dry it with a napkin or, you know, you can get a drying rack like this. This is something that you can buy for dishes. Um, and I just place everything in here. And I even have my two forks in here because even though these are single use, I could definitely use them again, especially I like them. I really like the different designs I was able to make. So, yeah. Um, all right, so that's that. And now I'm gonna show the prints that I made today. So this isn't the first one, but this is the first one that I liked, I guess. Um, so I'll just move them over. There's that one. Oh, oops, got one mixed in there. Those are ones with stencils. This was made with gold, and this is a fork. Another stencil. Another stencil. Okay, this is one of the more recent. Actually, I think I wanted it to go this way. Yeah, that's how I wanted it. Very cool. I think that's really cool. Love this. I mean, these are so cool. I love how these came out. One of the last ones. And that's the last one. So I wasn't counting, but I made a lot of prints. Um, very cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so I made fifteen prints total. 
and yeah there's just infinite possibilities each one of them is unique i really really like making these yeah so this is printmaking my way <laughs> also for more of my art you can visit my website kimberlyferguson.net or my instagram at brushstrokesbykim thank you for watching